Welcome to News 4's Veterans Voices Special. I'm Jordan Norcus. Each year, Veterans Day gives us the opportunity to reflect on the bravery, strength, and sacrifice of the men and women who served our country. Over the next half hour, we will share the remarkable stories of Western New Yorkers who fought for our freedom and their lives after war. Photojournalist Allison Stabell and I had the special privilege of joining a group of veterans on a journey of recognition, an honor flight to the nation's capital. It's real special, once in a lifetime. This will never happen again. Two heroes, a band of brothers once tasked with something bigger than themselves, service to their country. And I always felt I, I want to do my bit to give back, and uh, that's what I did. I served in the States, Germany, Italy, France, all over. I was in the 3rd Brigade of the 1st Infantry Division in Vietnam. For one year, uh, my, I'm a dentist, and that was my first office in a tent in the jungle. These brave men from the Korean, Vietnam, and Cold War eras make up Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight Mission 15. I feel blessed. I have a lot of gratitude. I have the ability to do something like this, you know what I mean? Before dawn, they boarded the flight onto their next charge one more tour with honor. We are so honored, so honored to be a part of this this morning. A one day trip to the nation's capital to see the memorials built to commemorate their courage. Land of the free because of the brave. <laughs> Waiting for the veterans in Baltimore. A wave of gratitude flooding through the concourse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching you walk down the hall of the airport, yeah, baby, yelling loud. Oh yeah, it touched my heart. It touched my heart. You can't, you can't begin to imagine the feeling I had walking down there and seeing what they're doing for us. They embarked on the road to Washington. The rain came down, but never dampened their spirits. Thank you. <laughs> Haven't seen her in so long. Oh my gosh. Families reunited. If you cry, I'm going to cry. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> Comrades remembered. I brought a list of people I served with. I have orders from those days, and I was looking up names, and fortunately, I didn't see any names. Um, so most of us got out okay, you know. I mean, there was injuries, there was accidents, there was uh, Purple Hearts, but we all made it back. Moments of valor reborn. All seven stops on the tour, allowing for solemn reflection. You can read about the, this stuff in books and you can see pictures, but until you're here and experience it, there's a feeling here, especially with uh, the honor flight amongst other veterans, it's yeah. special. A feeling of brotherhood. Once a veteran, always a veteran, and always a brother. I can walk up the street, find a veteran, and it's like I knew him all my life. That's the bond that we have. A brotherhood is something way different than friendship. It's a group of people that come together quickly and connect quickly and uh, have a, a very similar thing in common. One, military, and two, every single person here left to go to a combat zone, not knowing if they're going to come home again. That's a feeling that not everybody experiences. At the Vietnam Veterans Memorial stands a wall of black granite, bearing the names of over 58,000 service members who never came home, those who made the ultimate sacrifice. All you see is names. You know, all you see is names, and you think about all those men, you know. And I was there, but just being here on the grounds and then realizing the lives that and the freedom we have, but what it costs. And then you see this, you know, with the names and the, it's, it's, it, it hits you, it's emotional. Arlington National Cemetery, 
our nation's most hallowed ground. There they witnessed the changing of the guard and members of Mission 15 laid a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It was emotional, to say the least, but I enjoyed it. And when they sounded taps, I really got emotional. But we made it through. Then at the Military Women's Memorial. Whoa, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. <laughs> to a hero. Mail call. Letters from home capping off the gratifying tour. After 14 hours, the heroes were Buffalo bound. They touched down in Western New York and were led through the airport by pipes and drums. Behind the other side of the exit doors were two overdue words they have longed to hear. Welcome home. The show of appreciation they earned and deserve. Because when we came back from Vietnam, there was none of that, you know, people just, we didn't even wear our uniforms after that because of how people were going against us, you know, be a Vietnam vet. People don't know what we went through. I wanted to see that for a number of years, but I finally did today, and it felt great. A proper thank you made possible by the Honor Flight Network and its volunteers. You know, for the veterans to be able to do this for free, it takes a lot of work from the people who put this on and the sponsors, and so to be able to showcase it and let more people know about it, whether it's a veteran who would be eligible and didn't know about it, or people who might want to support it, you know, it, it, it's really important for folks to know. I have never signed my name to that contract that they have, and um, they'll often tell me, oh, I don't deserve this or I don't deserve that, I didn't serve in combat, but they all did something I never could do, so whether they sorted mail in Oklahoma or they were on the front lines in Vietnam, they did more than I did, and this is my way to give back. Giving back to those who answered the call of duty through a shared mission of heart and soul, echoing the spirit of patriotism for the country they know and love. I saw things that I never dreamed I'd see, and it was just great, just great. God bless America. God bless America. And God bless America. God bless America.